Hey everybody, <clears throat> my name is Brian and I am a licensed hearing aid practitioner in the great state of Pennsylvania. That's right. And uh, I have some wonderful news for you guys today. Some excellent, excellent news. And this is regarding the over-the-counter hearing aid department. This is really awesome, guys. So a few months back, actually quite a few months back, I did a review on one of the nicest over-the-counter hearing aids that I've seen so far, the Jabra Enhance Plus. This is an, again, over-the-counter, but what makes this hearing aid really unique is it's an over-the-counter hearing aid that has one of the most important prescription hearing aid features. It is programmable based off your audiogram. So it is programmable based off of your hearing loss. So whatever your hearing loss says, these hearing aids will accommodate that. You do your hearing test on the phone and it programs the hearing aids to your loss. It's incredible to find this in an over-the-counter hearing aid. Um, it also has Bluetooth. It's got an app. It offers hands-free. So when hooked up to your phone, if you have an iPhone, you can actually answer the phone call just by tapping the hearing aid. Really, really great stuff. It's got all these awesome prescription hearing aid features, but all these features come with a price and it is one of the most expensive over-the-counter hearing aids I've reviewed so far at $800. Well, that's where the excellent news comes in. They have just reduced the price from 800 to 500 bucks, $499.99 on Amazon. It is incredible. And I can say with 100% certainty that this is probably going to be one of the nicest over-the-counter hearing aids you can find with a price point around four to 500 bucks. Now, when I originally did this review, of course, I had not come out with my prescription hearing aid feature chart yet. So right now, I think it's a great time to take a look at it and kind of talk about it and see just how much it compares to a real prescription hearing aid. Now, for anybody that's not familiar with this prescription hearing aid feature chart, I made a video, it's called the over-the-counter hearing aid buying guide. You can check it out right here or after the video, finish this video first, please. It will go into detail on how and why I came up with this system for reviewing over-the-counter hearing aids. And long story short, you know, when I was trying to figure out, you know, what, what are the best features to look for in an over-the-counter hearing aid? What are the most important? How am I going to consistently review these hearing aids going forward since I'm going to be doing a lot of OTC reviews? Uh, I just had this epiphany. What you want to look for in an over-the-counter hearing aid is a hearing aid <laughs> over the counter that has as many prescription hearing aid features you can find, but at a price that's not going to break the bank, you know, because there are over the counter hearing aids that have all the prescription hearing aid features you can want, but they're like $2,500. You do not want to pay that much for an OTC hearing aid. So that's how I came up with it. Check out the video. I think you're going to love it. Now let's take a look at the Jabra Enhanced Plus over-the-counter hearing aid now available for 500 bucks. The link is going to be in the description if you guys want to try it out. Um, you could get it on Amazon in beige or black. Now let's take a look at the hearing aid and how it scores on the prescription hearing aid feature chart. So here's a look at the RX chart or prescription hearing aid feature chart that I made. And basically we go through these different features that a that all prescription hearing aids have, but not all over-the-counter hearing aids have. Again, if you want to check out the video that goes into more detail about this, check out the over-the-counter hearing aid buying guide. So these are sorted by priority, like what's the most important. I think the most important feature that all prescription hearing aids have are the fact that they are programmable based off of your audiogram, meaning they are customized based off of your hearing profile. They only amplify the sounds that you have trouble hearing, and they do this by a certain amount based on your hearing test. This is what prescription hearing aids are all about, but some over-the-counter hearing aids have this feature, and the Jabra Enhanced Plus OTC is one of them. So the more points these hearing aids have, the more points it scores on this chart, the closer it is to a prescription hearing aid, but you're gonna be paying for those points. 
So let's take a look at the Jabra Enhance Plus. And guys, I did a complete review of the Jabra Enhance Plus, how to use it, how it works, um, how to do the, the hearing test on your phone, the whole thing. And I'm gonna have a link for that at the end of the video. You can just click on if you wanna see a review of these hearing aids. And at the time of the review, these hearing aids were $800. First on the list, are they programmable based off of your audiogram? They sure are. So we've got one point there. Now, the... <laughs> I have yet to find the perfect over-the-counter hearing aid. If these hearing aids had replaceable wax filters, they would be bar like they would be the best in my opinion for this price point. But they didn't. That that is the only place where they totally dropped the ball. They don't have replaceable wax filters, so they do not get the point for that. Now, you can still wear hearing aids that don't have wax filters, and you can still be very successful with them if you're willing to be vigilant in cleaning those hearing aids religiously. I'm talking every day you're done using them, take the gels or the domes off and just make sure there is no wax where the receivers are, where the sound comes out. Because if wax gets down in there, there's no way to get it out. So we have no wax filters. We do have a decent warranty and trial period. So it's got a 45 day trial period and a one year manufacturer warranty. So it gets the point there. Um, durability, it doesn't have the IP68 rating that prescription hearing aids get, but it does have a decent IP52 rating. And if you guys wanna see uh, what that means, I'll have a link in the description where you can check out an IP rating chart. Basically the first digit, the five is the amount of dust proof that it has and then the second digit the two is the amount of water resistance it has so it has an ip52 and the best that i've seen in a prescription hearing aid is ip68 so it gets half a point for that um, it does have bluetooth and hands-free so it gets a point for that it does have an app it gets that point and it also has programs the only other thing it doesn't have is the option to choose between rechargeable or regular 312 battery. Some people like to have the option, the choice. Not everybody wants a rechargeable hearing aid. The batteries aren't gonna last forever, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So that's why this is a bonus category and it doesn't get that one because the Jobber Enhanced Plus are only available in the rechargeable version. Manufacturers, if you're listening, make sure every single one of your hearing aids has wax filters and make sure you give us the option of choosing the battery version or the rechargeable version and you'll have a damn good hearing aid so the total points is five and a half okay out of seven total now at the time of the video was made you know that the five and a half is the highest rating i've had so far with these reviews that i've been doing i know there's other hearing aids out there that can score pretty high but i just haven't come across them yet i haven't reviewed them yet so this one scored the highest so far that I've reviewed. Five and a half out of seven is a very good score. These are very close to prescription hearing aids. And they were only $800. But now, now they are $500, folks. 500 bucks. That's in the price range of your cheaper over-the-counter hearing aids. That is insane. So at $800, you're paying $145 per point. But now, now at just $500, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the 500 and I'm gonna divide that by the amount of points it has, which is five and a half, and you are now paying $90, well, we'll just say 91 per point, per feature. This makes this a very enticing, very, in my opinion, coveted hearing aid. If you are looking to get into hearing aids or you're thinking about trying a hearing aid this would probably now that it's only five hundred dollars this is definitely going to be up there in my top one or two choices go try a jabra you have 45 days to return it if you don't like it and i don't know how long this five hundred dollars is going to last but nowhere did i read that this is a promotional price that is a temporary discount it is now listed on amazon for 500 bucks. So very cool.
All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the video. Really, really great news. Again, if you want to order this hearing aid and try it out, you get a 45-day trial. If you don't like it, return it, get your money back, can always return it if it doesn't work, and Amazon makes that very easy. If you want to see a full review of the Jabra Enhance Plus, check it out right here, and you can also take a look at the video where I come up with and explain the prescription hearing aid feature chart. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Let's get hearing.